Good morning, welcome back to the Finca. Morning. <laughs> Another beautiful day. Very warm actually, very close this morning, but yes. we're not complaining. We're not 35 today, um, 94 Fahrenheit. Oh, Jesse, Jesse just walked into the tripod. <laughs> Camera. <laughs> um, yeah, I, this morning I've got an appointment, so I'm not going to be around very much today. Um, Andy is going to be cracking on, with that, on with that wall in yeah. the downstairs loo. Um, so much for our day off yesterday, by the way. Yeah. My <laughs> goodness me, what a day nice that was. Nice relaxing day, a bit of lamb on the barbecue we were going to have. Yeah, crikey. Best laid plans. I went to the loo, downstairs loo. Um, I don't know, about 11 o'clock in the morning and saw a bit of a wet patch on the floor. Thought nothing of it, thought it was a bit strange, but thought nothing of it. And then yeah. I mentioned it to Andy a couple of hours later. I said, oh, by the way, saw a bit of a wet patch in the loo. And um, we both went in and by that time it was an even bigger wet patch. It clearly wasn't coming from the toilet itself. When we felt a bug on the, the, um, the ceiling, it was wet. We had a leak. We had a leak in the shower upstairs. So, so yeah, after further investigation, <clears throat> I'll show you in a minute. But um, yeah, it's one of the pipes leading into the back of the shower. Luckily, I made all the pipe work as accessible as possible, so in case anything happened. Well, this fitting, it's been in for, we just looked back, it was like November last year. It's almost a year it's been sat there under pressure. Um, I mean, we left it several months before yeah. we boxed them all in to make sure there was no leaks. Then all of a sudden, one day, it's just failed. And I've, I've, you know, 10 years I've been using these fittings for in various guises, and I've never ever known one to fail yet. Um, even ones that have been out on the ground being walked on in the sun all day. So, yeah, it's a bit of a mystery. Um, but needless to say, it's all sorted and there's no harm done. Um, but yeah, we'll have a look at that. So, this is where it all started. Um, I'm going to be carrying on with this wall today, in a bit. Um, we had a little puddle at the side of the loo there, side of the toilet. Um, only small, and look it up, it was coming down through the ceiling. Oh no! Um, turns out it was a pipe under the shower. Yeah, we'll, we'll go and have a look at that. So into the bathroom. And, um, if you can see down there, it is a bit dark, um, but it was that little pipe under there. Um, look at it, I left um, the, the panel removable so I could get to it to um, fix it. Really weird, as we say, because it had been on for, crikey, since November last year, under pressure, no problem at all. And one day, it just started, decided to leak. It's all fixed now though, no harm done, it's all good, floor's still lovely. So the air hammer and the hoover, <laughs> Henry, are still in place. Um, we should be pulling in enough power now to start the compressor. Um, I'll go and have a look. Yeah, we're currently pulling in um, 1.15 kilowatts. Um, the, the compressor's, I'm not sure how much it is actually. Um, 1.3, 1.4 probably. But the batteries are up, so it'll that will increase as the day goes on. Um, so all we gotta do is plug it in, wait for the noise. There we go. Let's wait for that to charge up now, and we're good to go. So with the compressor running, I've shut the door to make it quieter, and um, we're pulling in one. Uh, it's using 1.3 kilowatts. We're pulling in not part 1.2, so another half an hour or so, and it'll be breaking even. If I just use it for um, perhaps a couple of hours, giving it a break every so often, um, the batteries should be fully charged by the end of the day. Of course, we'll check that later. So I've got my armor, I've got my safety goggles, and um, I need to get a mask. Um, I've got my gloves. Um, I've just checked the power again and it's pulling in 1.25 kilowatts now. We know it uses 1.3, I know I keep going on about the power, um, but hopefully people considering doing a similar thing, it may help them to understand how solar power works and how to size the system etc. Um, we know when we're using the compressor, 
um, which runs pretty much constantly with this thing, um, it's using 1.3 kilowatts. So we're about the point now, it's, it's just after 12 o'clock, for the next sort of, probably until 4, we'll be breaking even um, on the power. Um, but it, around 2 o'clock, which is the solar noon, we'll have to be charging the batteries again. So if we use the compressor on a 50% duty cycle, which is like 10 minutes on, 10 minutes off, um, that should then get the batteries up pretty quickly. The charge now, um, but then they need to go into the up to the full 28 volts to get the full maximum boost sort of thing. So, I'm going to shut the door and crack on. Okay, so we're an hour and a half in. Um, we've got a lot of the top done, the hardest bit, holding that thing up there. It's not good for your arms. Um, all this bit's done here. I've just got this bit to do, and I'll probably do down the bottom there as well. Um, yeah, it just takes forever, um, but we're getting there slowly, making a mess. Um, I've just checked the batteries. They're at 27.4 uh, volts now, so that's without any load, without the compressor running. So they're still going up. They were 26.8 when we started, so happy days there. We'll carry on. Right, so several hours on. Um, we're all done at the top here. I'm nearly done at the bottom. Um, I'm just going to go down because when, I, when I'm, I'm going to box in behind here, that's there to hold the thing in place, um, sort of separately just behind the, the cistern. So we're going to be exposing down there as well. Obviously, that pipe at the bottom this pipe um, is going to be boxed in too, all in TNG of course like the rest of it. So one last push now and I'll get the bottom bit finished off and then we can start the lovely job of clearing it up. Hey at last it's done. Um, yeah it's fantastic, it's going to look really nice. And nice big stones as well. Um, so next job now is get it all cleaned up, that'll be fun. So the clean up begins, unfortunately there's not enough room for two of us in there. <laughs> so guess who gets the job? <laughs> Fortunately my back's a lot better today so I'm able to do it so I don't mind. Cool, so we'll get it all cleaned up and um, then we need to think about getting the woodwork done and the box and end done. We're going to do that before we do the pointing um, so we can close up the, the ends where the wood meets the stone. It's amazing how much stuff comes out of a wall like that. Absolutely amazing. Okay so we're all done and we're all clean and smashing. Um, so the next thing to do before we start pointing the walls and stuff um, we need to get the ceiling finished uh, which is the first job I'm going to do next. Um, we need, this is going to be awkward as well just because it's, it's like a big triangle. Um, but then we can finish the walls up to the ceiling. Um, then I'm going to box in uh, across the bottom here to hide this pipe. Uh, I'm going to have a little shelf all the way along to put things on, very useful. Um, then box this side in. I'm trying to use, I've got loads of offcuts of all different sizes and that. Um, so I'm trying to sort of work out how I can use these up. They're just going to end up burnt as firewood. And obviously if we can use them it saves us some money. Um, then I'm going to put a behind, because this is sat away from the wall, I'm going to put a shelf behind there and just box in um, down the sides to just hide everything and make it all look nice and functional. Then on this side, that's just going to be a shelf um, with the exposed stone behind it. This wire, um, I'm going to pop that out and run it down this side and out of the way so we can just clean that wall up um, up to that corner. Oh so that's another good job well done um, just in the nick of time as well because just before I finished a big grey cloud came over and um, cut out most of the solar. Um, it's, as you can see that's come back out again now the batteries are bulk charging now at 28.6 volts um, so we're, we're good with them. So yeah, happy day is a good day. 
Um, cheers to the guys who bought us a beer as well. Cheers, um, thank you. After a day like today, all that dust and heat is well appreciated. <laughs> oh, lovely. Like a beer advert. Um, so. Yeah, well, so I've forgotten the room's all clean. What I was going to say. Uh, ready for boxing in and cladding now. Yeah, I'm going to get one with the boxer in tomorrow. I've, I've sifted through a lot of offcuts and stuff. Um, and obviously, like I said before, I want to try and use them all up. Makes sense, doesn't it? Because they're not, there's not enough of them to cover any sort of area or anything. So, because they just need smaller piece, smaller areas for this thin bits and stuff, um, could come in handy. I think that's it really for today so thank you to everyone for watching as always thank you to all our subscribers all our supporters and if you enjoyed it little subscribe button down there oh, yes um, please do you'll get notified by YouTube don't cost anything you get you notified by YouTube every time we upload a video which yeah. is currently six days a week yeah we're having Sundays off yeah um, yeah thanks to all the people supporters thanks for the beers um, we'll be back tomorrow see you tomorrow